just gets up there, gets on the inside, motors on by. Earnhardt made an easy pass there, coming down the front straightaway, so Dale Earnhardt now is sixth. And to keep you informed of the Winston Cup points battle, Ricky Rudd is in 19th position at the moment. Now we talked about Harry again, hanging sheet rock and all those two before. Last Sunday morning at, at Martinsville, last Monday morning, I went over to Taylorsville, North Carolina, and this is what Harry Gant does for relaxation. I mean, he built this building of his own hands. He put the roof on in the summertime. That's him cutting the, the boards. And, you know, I asked Harry Gant, why don't you relax? Why don't you go home and read the paper about your win? Yeah, I would be Bill, and I enjoy Bill, and I love Bill. Probably as much as I love to race, maybe even more to, to build something and stand back and look at it after you get it done. It's just a great feeling to be able to, to have the talent to be able to build something. I was telling some press people at our press conference after we won uh, the race at uh, Dover that uh, you know, I've never considered myself to be a great race car driver by no means, uh, but I always figured myself to be a super good carpenter uh, and the best, one of the best carpenters. But not to say that I'm one of the best race drivers. I'm a fire race car driver. I do pretty good, but I am a good carpenter. Can you imagine the guy say he's got a well, great race car driver? <laughs> By the way, folks, that was part of a, a special that's going to air next Friday night on WCNC in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you're going to be down there for the race, 7.30 Friday night. Tune in. Well, Terry Gant builds better houses and he's a race driver right now. That trouble down Ernie Urban has spun and crashed down in turn one. So for the third time today, the caution flag comes out. Ernie Urban's car is sitting in the middle of turn number one on the 14-degree banking here at North Wilkesboro, and Ernie Urban, who was running in 14th spot, has crashed. Kodak Film Chevrolet, a lot of damage to it. Urban was third in the Winston Cup point standings coming into this race and still had a very good shot at the child. Not a very good, but he had a certain mathematical shot at the time. Right rear tire is flat on that car. We can see the rim there. I don't know if he's cut a tire down. I noticed a little bit ago that contact he had with Davy Allison it looked like the tire might have been rubbing the sheet metal, but I never saw any smoke. And here comes Harry Gant down Pitt Road. Jerry Punch gets there to call a pit stop, Jerry. Well, Andy Petrie and crew waiting on their driver, and they're making sure. They reminded Harry just a moment ago on the radio, Harry, 35 miles per hour. Harry's worked like the Maytag repairman. Awfully lonely down here right now. He's the only one on Pitt Road. And now Davy Allison makes his way down, and others. And we'll go to work on the right side of Harry's car, and they will change all four tires. Davy Allison comes by here again. Red Bull 9 Mike Rod will come by. Pit Road now becoming very busy as Alan Kowicki is having his problem with the tires a little bit ago. Now he's fitting up where John Kernan is. I tell you, if anybody needed a caution flag, it was Alan Kowicki. They will take a round of wedge out of the right rear. Four tires are going with scuff tires. Last pit stop, they put on sticker tires. Alan radioed in a few laps ago and said, hey, they're worn out. They're hoping it's scuffs, which have been heated up. And on a few laps, they've hardened a little bit more, and they will be the ticket to run with Harry Gant. A lot of a chassis adjustments were made on some of the cars, but not Harry Gant. They put four new tires on and took off. He, of course, was first out of the pits easily. And now we see some uh, other cars coming in. The three car of Dale Earnhardt came out in about third position. Yeah, he picked up a lot. Davey Allison came out in second spot. So under caution for the third time because of Ernie Irvin's crash in turn number one. Back after this. Oh, look at that tire. Look at this tire. Look out. Turn Ooh, four. Yeah. Turn four, Neil. It's a tire. Hmm. Where did that tire come from? Oh. <clears throat> okay. All right. Tell Alan to pick it up and tell Alan Hester, tell him to pick it up and go boom, boom, boom. 